How's it going? It's Jeff from jeffrey-thomas.com, and let's take a look at Sade, Cherish the Day. Sexy little track, and pretty simple, four chords, and then I have added the C natural minor scale and all five of the C minor pentatonic patterns for you. So anyway, getting started, thumb is P, first finger is I, middle finger is M, ring finger is A. I'm going to be using finger style for this, but you could use a pick if you'd like. And also another thing to point out, my fourth string open is a low G, or my fourth string is a low G instead of a high G. So that's going to maybe sound a little different than yours, but you can still learn, and we can move forward, no problem. I mapped out the intro guitar solo for you, so I'm going to walk through that slow, and it's starting here, first string, fifth fret, third finger. Okay, now bend from five to six, then again. Okay, one more time. Okay, so if you're familiar with the track, there's this killer little, simple little guitar solo that starts it out, and that's pretty much it nailed. Now, if my notation is scaring you and it looks very intimidating, I immediately suggest that you go to a lesson on my website called 16th Note Subdivisions Ukulele, because this whole thing is, this whole line is riddled with 16th notes. If I were to talk and count through it for you, it would be like this. It's in on the Anna 4, so there's a pickup. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, and 3, E, and a 4, and 1, 2, 3, E, and a 4, and. So, you know, with a metronome, the tempo of the track is at 80. So if we were to count it in for real, it would be like 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So um, a lot of people are looking for you know information on the internet, for notation on the internet, and it is absolutely incomplete. No rhythmic values, no fingerings, etc. So anyway, I don't want to I don't want to get you know big lecture going, but make sure that you're learning how to read music because even if it's tablature and it has rhythmic values, you're going to need to count. Sorry, I hate to be the bad guy. Anyway. Um, That'll get you rolling on the intro guitar solo if you want to start the track. Um, jumping into the actual main part of the tune, which is the verses, the choruses are all following the same chord progression. So we have C minor, right? Then a D minor 7, which you have to get like that. F minor 7. To G minor seven. Okay. Now, you could simply play the tune like this. Two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, just straight quarter notes if you want. It's totally fine. That switch from C minor to D minor 7 might be a little tough. I um, often tell my students if there's a chord switch that is bothering them, um, once again using the metronome and counting to make the switch. Like for example, say you're having a problem getting from C minor to D minor 7 because there's a lot going on with that switch. I have them do the switching in whole notes. So they play the C minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Make the switch. 
So basically, instead of letting it ring for four beats like you would with a whole note, like one, two, three, four, one, and then having to make the switch like instantly, we're using whole notes as an increment, right? So you go one, two, three, four, one. Did you see how I made the chord switch and then I kind of waited? The reason for doing this is because you have to get used to doing chord switches in tempo, in time. And by using a rhythmic value like a whole note, it gives you four beats to get from one chord to the next. Um, anyway, that's a good little tip for chord switching on any track that you're doing. Um, next up is explaining the rhythm stuff for the verse and the chorus. Okay, you'll see that I've written a downstroke as like a little staple looking thing, and then an upstroke as an arrow. And what is happening is all of the information that I've decided to use, since there's no ukulele on the track, is basically following the groove of the recording. And you can see that each measure is identical. You can mix it up, but to show the lesson, I want to make sure I keep it consistent. So starting with a C minor, okay, I have, starting with a thumb, down, up, then down with M and A. So it's like these two fingers together, M and A, together, then up with the thumb. So once again, super slow. Down, up, down, up. It's almost like a Roomba, you know? Like a flamenco Roomba, right? So this hand has to be pretty chill. And it's definitely an advantage. Um, I like uh, the connection with the fingers on the strings better than a pick. Okay, so you could do the same thing with a pick, though. Anyway, let me run through the whole measure there of the C minor because once we establish this, then it's going to be the same for every chord. Okay, so super slow. Okay, the second beat is down with M and A. Sixteenth rest, sixteenth rest, up, or I'm sorry, down with P. Once again, the whole measure. Again. P, P, M and A, P, M and A, rest, Rest, down with P, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, now, the tempo is at 80 on the tune. I'm going to go ahead and run that strumming pattern for you at 60, okay? Ready, go. Okay, so see what I mean about the rhythm following through for every chord? And then if I pump it up to 80, ready, go. Okay, so there's the track, pretty much. So, like, I have a couple female singers that uh, hang out at parties and stuff, and they just love this track. So, I mean, if you like Sade, this is probably one of her best tracks. Anyway, moving on with some new stuff for you. Um, things that you can do for soloing. If it comes time to jam it up a bit, we need some scales now, right? So, um, up in the upper row of chord diagrams, I've written a C natural minor. Now, as far as technique goes, if you're using a pick, you just use a pick on the single notes, but I'm going to be alternating with I and M. So C natural minor is going to be starting here, 4th string, 5th fret, then going over to the 3rd string,
once you get to the highest note. And you can see I've highlighted the chord shape in purple highlighter as inside the, the scale pattern. This is very important to see because if you want to go back and forth from lead playing to chord playing, you want to have an anchor for of a chord to go back to, right? Okay, now pentatonic patterns. Pentatonic is a five note scale, so when we map them out on the ukulele or the guitar or the bass, there's going to be five patterns that connect into each other. So C minor, for this key, we start with the four string open, okay, and we go to the third fret, third string open, to the third fret, second string first fret, third fret, third finger, finger per fret rule right here. Okay, then back down. Okay, the thing to point out for improvisation, for soloing, if somebody was playing the chord progression for the song, every note in either the C natural minor scale or any note in these five pentatonic patterns is going to be a safe note, everything's cool, you can start making your own melodies for improvisation, right? Okay, the next pattern is starting at the third fret, and the fingering is going to be one, three, one, three again on the third string, one, four on the second string, one, four on the first string, and then back down. Okay, fret marker of the fifth fret for the next pattern, fingering is one, four, one, three, two, four, two, four, back down. Moving up to the 8th fret, next pattern fingering is 1, 3, 1, 3, watch that fret gap, 4 fret gap there, back up to the 8th fret on the 2nd string, 1, 4, and then finish with 1, 3. Okay, last pattern, 5th fifth, fifth of the 5 patterns, up at the 10th fret, And, is that the 10th fret? Hold on a second. 7, 8, 9, 10, sorry. 10th fret, 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 4, and 1, 4, and then back down. Okay, so the tune, an explanation, but I think really, unless you're just going to watch me, which is what's so cool about the video, right? You can just sort of watch it and over and over again if you need to. But I really, really think it's important for you to be able to understand exactly how to count all these things. So I've offered some help on my website with 16th note subdivisions. That's an a, a important lesson for you to check out and watch the video as well. Also, I'm teaching on Skype, Uvu, Yahoo Messenger, Windows Live, and Webcam. So if you need help, just get a hold of me. And uh, I hope this wasn't too boring. It's a simple tune, but it's very syncopated, and it's definitely got some groove going for it. So um, please get a hold of me if you have any questions. Otherwise, uh, have fun with that lesson. Thanks. Bye-bye.